were part of the lucky seven that won $315 million in the California State Lottery. Woohoo! Joyce Honori and Kate Wooten joined the ultra rich when they won one of the largest lottery jackpots ever. They went from working nine to five in a medical lab to living the good life in Orange County. Joyce was a lab technician. I drew blood, worked in a medical facility, and my husband and I, we lived in a mobile home. We were just the regular run-of-the-mill people, not, you know, I wasn't making a whole lot of money. Kate was a full-time architecture student doing receptionist work to pay the bills. We weren't totally broke, but we we were comfortable. I was making 17 bucks an hour, which I thought was a gold mine at 25, and. You know, it paid for the apartment. But her marriage was on the rocks. I said, you know, it, it's time. You you can move out or I can move out. On the day Kate decided to leave her husband, she went to work as usual at the clinic, where her friends had a regular lottery pool. There were seven of us all together. And there was one other was going to play, and she changed her mind. One of them came out running and said, hey, give me, you want to buy a lottery ticket? And I said, sure. Then on November 15th, 2005, Joyce and Kate got the surprise of their lives. We checked the numbers and they were all there. Check again, one. It's us. It, 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 it's really us. <laughs> and I called my husband and I said to him, well, good morning, Mr. Millionaire. And he goes, what? What are you talking about? I said, I'm pretty sure we won the lottery. Joyce and Kate and their five co-workers were dubbed the Lucky Seven. They won $315 million in a Mega Millions jackpot. The largest jackpot in California history. After taxes, each player took home $20.2 million. I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. And I, you know, even now, it's, we're still pinching ourselves. The win changed everything. A lot, a lot, a lot of money. I can't stress a lot enough. <laughs> With that record payout, Joyce, Kate, and their families had in mind nothing short of a life of luxury. It went from one week worrying if I could pay tuition to school to the next not having to worry about anything. Joyce and her husband, Ed, moved from their mobile home into a multi-million dollar dream home. Hi, come on in, welcome to our house. As soon as we came here, I said, this is it, and he did too. And then we walked out in the yard and saw the yard, and that really convinced us that this was the house. We didn't have a yard. We had a driveway. That was it. Yeah, I think I could sit here all afternoon. If I go away for any length of time and I come back, I usually come out and walk the grounds here and pinch myself to make sure it's really mine. And there's accommodation for two brand new cars. It's just wonderful to go out and buy whatever you want. Although you have to kind of watch yourself or otherwise you'll have too much stuff. The 6,000 square foot home has plenty of space to roam. Not only for Snickers the dog, but for Joyce's family. My sisters came to visit as all they kept doing was getting lost. There are five bedrooms. I call this the queen's room. Having the lottery just entitled me to being the queen of my own bedrooms. And the master bathroom's big enough for a party of five. This room here, I think, is probably every woman's dream. Over here, we have a jacuzzi tub and a shower over here that probably maybe four or five people can fit in. And actually, we did have a party one time in the bathroom. How many people have bathroom parties? <laughs> but we did. But the big selling point? A very nicely lit closet. This originally was a five-bedroom house, but they took this room, one of the bedrooms, and made it into a closet. And it has a chandelier. And because Joyce believes you can never have too much closet space... I'm only going to give you a quick look. I have a few pairs of shoes. <laughs> Having this is like having a fantasy. Who would ever thought? We just love this, don't we, Snickers? Don't we? Kate has moved on from the emotional trauma of her marriage breakup and is following her dream. It's a house I saw that I could grow into and not leave. I could be here forever and be totally happy. 
Our new place is set on a hilltop with killer views of Orange County. You can see a whole lot out here. You can look all the way across Orange County. It's a perfect family home with five bedrooms and a few extras. This right here is the sauna that I never ever use. I'd like to turn it into a shoe closet. As you can see, I have a lot of them, but that was vetoed. Kate's bathroom is her refuge. This is my fireplace where we like to turn it on during the winter time and my TV so that I can watch TV and watch the fireplace while I'm taking a bath. Yeah, it's my dream house. I love it, it's perfect in every way. You cannot get any better than this. For one person, it was overkill, but Kate worked hard to fill it up. She renewed an old friendship that soon turned into something more. Kate and I met at a country bar. We started up as friends, and we started dating a little after that. Six to eight months later, we just started dating on a full-time basis, then um, started living together. Soon they were married and started a family. But Dan's very clear that Kate's lottery win had nothing to do with his courtship. First thing me and her father discussed was if anything did happen, there's going to be a prenup. I get nothing. I don't want anything. Dan says Kate's money is her money, and that's just fine with him. <laughs> she is not my sugar mama. <laughs> there's times where I want something and I can't, I can't do it because, one, I don't have the money and I won't go and ask her. This is a picture of me and Dan when I was three months pregnant with Austin, we, when we went on our very first cruise. Maybe we should get a cover like that. That would be cool. It's a new start for Kate. She was once in an unhappy relationship, struggling to pay for college. I've stayed away from this boat for the last three years because I've been pregnant and or seasick. And I did not want anything to do with it. What, you want to go drive too? The lottery made Kate and Joyce queens of the O.C. But it 